What is up everyone? My name would be Josh. This is Strain Central and today we are going to be doing a new weed myth. So I saw a couple days ago on Twitter that someone was literally packing an entire bowl full of orange hairs. And I've seen people do it before, I've even done it myself before. But the overall question that I thought needed to be addressed is, do orange hairs actually really get you high? So I guess we'll start this off by smoking and then basically just explaining what orange hairs or pistols on cannabis are there for. So I definitely hope you guys are smoking along, dabbing along, vaping along, getting those cannabinoids nice and deep into your lungs because these are going to be nice and deep into mine. I'm on like a really weird like Dutch treat kick today, so I'm smoking on some Dutch treat flour and then I will be dabbing on some Circa 97 Dutch treat rosin, so I'm loving that Dutch treat taste because I always say it legitimately just reminds me of like the Pacific Northwest, so ever since I've gotten home I've been on that like weird Pacific Northwest kick and just wanted that like piney deliciousness, but cheers guys, let's get a nice rip off the uh, thick ass glass tube. I packed that bowl pretty fat, so I wanted to make sure I actually ripped the entire thing. But, as I said earlier, orange hairs on cannabis are called pistols. This is not P-I-S-T-O-L-S, this is P-I-S-T-I-L-S, -S, and pistols are pretty much on any flower. So what pistols are there for is simply like reproduction purposes. So the female plants, only female cannabis plants, will exhibit pistols. And what they're there for is to collect pollen from the male plant. So cannabis plants obviously reproduce mostly through air. And what this means is the male plant will reproduce some kind of a pollen and release a pollen into the air. The wind is going to blow this onto other cannabis plants, hopefully female plants, and the pollen is actually going to attach to the pistils. So it's not like a lot of other flowers where it has to be insects that actually collect pollen from like their little legs and then land on another plant and pollinate them. That's what bees do with like a lot of flowers. They're collecting pollen and then pollinating other plants. Cannabis doesn't work like that. Cannabis basically reproduces by itself. So the wind is really all it needs to have pollen blow from a male plant onto a female plant for it to reproduce. So the pistols are mostly just there for reproduction purposes. Uh, they are gonna start like a whitish color when they're in like flower. And then as it actually does kind of go throughout its maturity, it's going to turn into like a red, amber, orangey, yellowish color. So different plants are gonna have different colored pistols but it's always gonna be kind of like a dark amberish orangish color. I do believe uh, pistols actually starting to show are one of the first signs of your plant actually flowering. So once you actually do start seeing pistols, you can one, be sure that it's a female plant, two, be sure that you're actually going from your veg to your flower cycle. So it is just a really easy way to pick out that yes, this is gonna be a plant I can actually grow to its fullest potential because this is a female. So. If you just smoked a straight bowl of these pistols, would it get you high? That's the question that I guess should actually be addressed. And the answer to that is, I guess technically yes, because I'm assuming there is some small trace amount of trichomes on pistols. It's not going to be like your trike coverage on a bud or on a cola, but there is, I'm assuming, going to still be some kind of trichome coverage on your pistols. So if you smoked an entire bowl of straight pistols, is it going to be the same of actually smoking a bowl of weed? No, because I'm gonna assume it's not gonna be as triked out, which means there's not gonna be as much THC or cannabinoids in just pistols alone. So you're really mostly just in that case consuming excess plant material with not very many trichomes or any cannabinoids. So I wouldn't really suggest just smoking a bowl of straight pistols but I have heard from sources that just doing that and from my own experience, it does kind of still give you, I guess, a high, but it's much more of like a CBD kind of body high. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna snap the rest of this bowl and then we'll talk about these pistols just a little bit more. Uh. 
So, pistols. Do they play a significant role in smoking? No. In my opinion, they do not at all. They are going to be very, very, very important to breeding. And I've even seen articles basically calling pistols like the vaginas of cannabis because they are going to be what collects pollen and what actually, you know, helps the plant with breeding. So it does not really play a significant role for us as consumers and realistically not really for growers either because you really shouldn't be harvesting your cannabis based on uh, pistol development because there's going to be some cases where you have extremely ripe trichomes and your pistols still are slightly white and not really like orange yet. So realistically, pistol overall development or pistol maturity is not going to matter even 1% on the grand scheme of trichome ripeness or trichome maturity. So if you have clear trichome heads, your plant's probably still not yet mature enough. Once you start seeing some cloudiness or some amber in those trichomes, your, or trike heads at least, you're going to want to harvest your plant. So pistols really don't play a significant role in any part of cannabis other than reproduction. Judge cannabis based on smell and based on trichome maturity, trichome ripeness, and trichome coverage. Because trichomes are going to be what hold all of your wonderfulness. So look for plants in layman's terms that smell really good and look really frosty. So it's not always going to be something that's like a consistent, frostier buds are better. But most of the time, if you see a bud with full trichome coverage and can assume that those are ripe, mature trichomes, that's probably going to be better than a bud that's just kind of struggling trichwise and, and is mostly just plant material. So I guess our overall conclusion to the question, do orange hairs actually get you high? The answer is kind of no. I mean, sure, technically, they might have some trike coverage and you might be ingesting some kind of cannabis and cannabinoids. But comparatively to just smoking actual bud, it's going to be extremely weak. So not really is kind of the overall answer. And though it may look really cool for like social media and it may look really cool while you're smoking it, it's really not going to do a lot for you. And it's probably going to be mostly a placebo kind of thing. That all being said, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this episode and there will definitely be some more weed myths coming up here soon. I hope you guys are all having yourself an absolutely incredible day, and I hope you guys are keeping that head up and just trying to spread the positivity to other people. Remember this, guys. The company that you surround yourself with and the people that you have in your life are going to play a huge role into, like, your overall daily mood. So surround yourself with good people, surround yourself with creative people, and surround yourself with people that are constantly going to push you and progress you forward. So... Cheers, guys. Quick little rosin glob off the 420 Science Earl can, and we are out of here, but let us get it. Let's let the banger cool down just a little bit. Cheers. Stay positive. Stay medicated. Peace, guys.